jazz trio building a community of music throughout the heart of the pandemic, entertaining the world from a five-flight walk up in Harlem. Those popular online performances now launching them right back on the road. Take a look. When the pandemic started, all the gigs were canceled. We just said to each other, what do we know how to do? And that was to play music. I got a call, I still remember it was July 2020 from Emmett. Hey, you want to come over to my place and do live stream? And uh, we, we dragged Kyle's drum set down the street, one block, up five flights of stairs, set up, turned the live stream on, and played. And the first video got over 40,000 views. And it was something where we said, OK, this is something that's necessary that the world needs. To hear the stories of people that are like, pandemic was really hard for me. Like, what you guys did was, was special. It was a beacon of hope, yeah. The Emiko and Trio formed, I guess, when I was in college. And when I moved to New York, I met Kyle down at Smalls. And he was playing a jam session at Smalls Jazz Club at 18 years old. And Yasushi, I first met in the band of a drummer named Ali Jackson. And we were going on tour. And Yasushi's a few years older than me, so I looked up to him. We streamed the performances to YouTube and Facebook. I said, well, how many streams can we do with people just seeing us play? So we called a few other friends in Harlem. We started inviting one by one different artists to come over and collaborate with us. And we've had over 100 musicians from ages 18 to 93. People are willing to climb up five flights of stairs still and, and make some music with us. amazing thing to now be able to connect with people in person who had seen us online. It started as just three guys in a room and now we have a team and we have a kind of more of a strategy for how it can affect people all over the world. We really built a community all across America and so we kind of went to Europe a bit like uh, this is gonna suck a little bit <laughs> you know but then we got there and every concert basically was sold out from people who had seen in its place. Jazz is uh, social music, so you know, whatever you know, audience energy, we feed off each other, so it's great to be back. Those fans couldn't wait to see us live, so you know, when they actually come to see us live, they're like, ah, this is what it, you know, we've been waiting for. You're right, that was a nice touch what? for the show, right? And uh, <laughs> if you want to hear more, uh, Emma Cohen has a new album, Uptown in Orbit. It's going to be available on all music streaming platforms on October the 28th. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.